Hello everyone, in this video we want to integrate quick actions and this is first of all the app shortcuts on Android and on iOS it is called App Anonymous Concept I guess and we want to integrate it for Android and iOS and first of all like every time we go to the installing section and copy this dependency and then we go into our project and put it here into our pubspec jumble file and here inside you put it under dependencies your dependency like I have done it and then you need to restart your application and then you basically go to your main file and here inside I have already created a field with which is called shortcut so that we actually know later which shortcut we have pressed and now we can write here this initialize method and here inside we write another method to initialize our quick actions and now we need to create first of all an instance of our plugin so first of all I go here and create here this quick actions and therefore we can initialize this class here quick actions and we also need to import this quick actions which we get from the plugin and now we go here into our method initialize quick actions and then we need to call on this the initialize method and here inside we get later the type which we have clicked on and then we can do something so basically right now I want to set this type which we get to this shortcut which we have already here at our state level so I will just put it here inside and then it will be displayed here at the bottom in our application because I have set the shortcut text into our body property and then it will be displayed which shortcut we have selected here so this is the basic setup and the next thing what we need to do is we need to create here a file and I call it shortcuts.dart and here inside we create a class shortcuts and here we want to basically create all of our shortcuts and therefore I create here first of all one shortcut which is called action search and then you can create here this shortcut item so this is from the library which we have imported already and here inside we need to set basically three parameters so we need first of all to set the type and I call it here action search and then we can also set here this title which will be later displayed in our Android and iOS app and then we can also set an icon and I will call it here icon search and basically this icon search we need to create later and I will also create a second action and this time I call it create task or we can also call it task and here inside I have to change this one so always make sure that the type is only existing one time and not that you call two items here with the same name because this needs to be unique and then you can set another localization so here I say create task and we also want to set a different icon later so I use this icon task and I will also create a list of all of our shortcuts so we want to place action search and action task into a list so let's create here this list and here inside of our items we want to place first of all our action search and our action task and here in front I have to write final and that's it what we need and now we can go back to our main file and here inside we first of all need to set in our initialize method this quick actions set shortcut items and here we need to put all our shortcut items inside so basically we want to set this items here inside so I take this class here and write shortcuts.items and I think this class name is already taken so he has some conflict so I rename it quickly to shortcut items and here inside I also name it shortcut items and now we can basically import this here and there's no problem anymore so basically what we are doing here in this method is first of all initializing our quick actions so we get here the type of the quick action which the user has selected later and here we just say okay what shortcut items we have in general and here inside of this initialize method you can also do like more complex stuff so basically you can ask first of all if the type is now and if that's the case we just return it because then it is not a type which is selected and then we can ask if the type is for example shortcut 
items and then we select here for example this action search and then we look if the type is this type so if the user has selected this type then we can for example print something right now to the console but later you can do here some action if he for example clicked on search then you want to go maybe to the search page or something so right now i just write here pressed search and you also can do the same thing for the other type which we have so i will also put here this action task inside so basically, if you clicked on the task later, then you can also do some specific things. So you open maybe a new task so that the user can create this task. So let's just put here right now some print statements inside. And now we have to do the most important thing. So we have to finish the configuration for Android and also iOS. And therefore we need to have some icons. And basically you can go, for example, to material.io and here inside we have the resources and then you can click here on this icons and then you can search for some icons so basically we can select here task and then you see here that we can add this task and here inside you can also select how much dps you want so basically i selected here 24 and then you can download it and then you get a zip file which you can extract and basically i have done it already for icon search and icon task and then you get here to png files and you have to rename them to icon task so just make sure it has the same name as in our shortcuts so here this name needs to be the same and after you write png in your file and icon task and this needs to be also like this written so basically I have done it here, icon task and then PNG. And now we need to go to our Android folder and then into our app source main. And then we go here into the resources and into drawable. And here inside we need to paste both icons inside. So let's take here, for example, the second one and I will put them here inside. And I will also do it for the other things. So also for icon search. I will also place it here inside into our drawable folder and now we have here these both files and that's it what we need for android setup and for ios you also need to go here to your xcode so i open the ios folder with xcode and here inside you have to go to the runner so basically you have here this runner then you have this runner and then you have here this assets and here inside we want to place both of these icons so basically i start with the one icon so always make sure you take this size first and then drag it here inside and then he has put it here for one and now we go here and drag also the second one to this place here and we also do this for the other icons so for this task icon i drag it here inside and for the second i put it here inside all right and inside of this app delegate i will also paste here something inside so just paste this code here inside you just can uh, write it like this and this only makes sure that the setup is correct and now you can try this out so basically i will run this on my android simulator so run it again and now if you have started this application you can close it here inside of this middle and then we go here to our quick actions and if you hold it here so i place it right now here inside then if you hold it here then you see we have here the search and create task and it is exactly like we have set it here so it's like search and also create task and he has taken this icon search which we have placed inside into our android folder into our drawable folder and he has also taken the other icon which we have placed here inside and if you then click here on this quick action then he will go to our main file and here inside you he will go into this initialize function and then he will go here inside or here inside depending on which icon we clicked so for example i click here on search and normally he should go then inside of this app and print it but right now I think the emulator has some problems. So let's try it maybe out with the iOS emulator also. But basically he should then print this one and this one. But I will also try it right out with the iOS simulator. And you can also try it out on your real device and it will work definitely. So I will also restart it right now in the iOS simulator. 
And now he is opening it also in the iOS simulator and I can simply close it here. And now if I click here longer on this one, then you also see search and create task. And if you, for example, click here on create task, then he will go into this app and select here the action task because we have set it here in our shortcuts to action task type and he has put it then here inside into our shortcut this type and is just displaying it here and we can also do the other things so we go here inside and then we go to our search and he will then say okay we have selected action search and then he also prints here pressed search in the console so basically you can do something if your user typed on search or task and then you show in your Flutter app the search page or the task page and the user goes then directly to this page. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!